Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Tell me why. I don't like Mondays. Tell me why. I don't like Mondays. <laughs> Does anybody really like Monday? Is there anybody that really likes Monday? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to start my week. I, 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 know, I say, love Mondays. I love I, uh, Mondays. You Mondays, love Mondays. Mondays why? are effing the, probably the most productive day we have as a show and a company because we have so many client catch-up meetings. Mm-hmm. That I know exactly what we need to do with the Michael Mara show, with any other program that's on our roster at when Monday's done. So everything's laid out for the rest of the week. I tell you what, you know what? I don't mind Mondays as much as I mind Sunday nights. Yeah. Well, because, I used to hate Sundays when uh, when I did a morning show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even though now uh, I get up at morning show time uh, with the routine we have here. But there's something about Monday that still has a little... I mean, I'm in a perfectly fine state of mind to start the week, yeah. but it's still... But for life, Monday. Okay, but this is... Maybe you're talking to the wrong person. In the case of the Monday situation... Yeah. Okay. If you have a great life with balance and balance. fun yeah. and you enjoy what you do for a living, even then, if you don't have other responsibilities, I could see having a case of the Mondays and you're like, oh, the weekend was a blast. Now back to whatever. This is what we have. Do you understand what he just said? No, but I'll say this. <laughs> I like he was kind of I think there was a an insult in there. An insult, really? I think there was an insult to me in there. I think there was just fluff. I might fluff. be paranoid because no. it's Monday. I think there was just fluff. I, I, I know there was a no, lot of no. content. No, if you're I think not, what if he said was, boss, if, you have, if you have, like, you, you should responsibilities, hate uh-huh. if, if, if you have, if you, but you, so you're saying because you run things up there? Yes. That, I, uh, that but, I'm excited for Mondays to get answers for things that I've been thinking about over the weekend. Yeah, but it makes it sound, I, I, now I feel like a subordinate. You're not a because supporter. You're, you're the boss. Because I don't. I, but I. But I don't like Mondays. I don't like Mondays at all. You I like Monday. Mondays. I like Mondays when we start the show. By the time we're here and we're together and we're doing the show, I like oh, that. I've had terrible Mondays where, hopefully, like what we bring to the listening audience, like this, the Monday is fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Th- th- I've been. T- I've been in. Look, look. And I'm not saying this to artificially prop up this program, but I have to say that if we bring. To you, the listener, what this show brings to me, uh, there are many, many days, Monday through Friday, where right. I have had just terrible crap going on. And by the time I'm halfway through this little enterprise yeah. with the mics open, I'm I'm off the aircraft. The mon- I'm, I'm but I'm with you on the notion. You know what it is? It's the notion of a Monday, I think. Notion of Monday starts on Sunday. Sunday night suck yep. in our house because my son's going. Mur, 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 yeah, mur. Well, you can and, see. Uh, I can see that. Know. Then, if you have a, if you Mrs. Have- O'Mara, Monday is is she's uh she's out of control. She in is what way? Out of co- she's just uh skin care, skin care, skin care. She's got four days left yeah. in her training program, and wow. she's out of her mind. Yeah, she is out of her mind. And uh, well, I'll give her a plug. Yeah, please uh, do. Yesterday, uh, I don't even know if I should say this. Yesterday, she put on the um, the smock, you know, the the scrubs that yeah. they're supposed mm-hmm. to wear, and she went out and like spent money on her scrubs because that's what she does. Yeah, and these are not like doctor scrubs; these are these are spa scrubs. Yeah. That, they're and different. I, it's just well, she's, not it's her, it's fair. Her, it's her brand. I just uh, she's going to be giving men uh, skin treatments, and I just. I mean, for me, mm-hmm. you could wear a maid's outfit or a sexy nurse outfit. Mm-hmm. You put her in this outfit on Halloween, and I'm not, uh, you know, I just hope it's more women than men. That's all you I You should send her out to one of those Halloween they, pop-up are they stores. Are sexy estheticians? Yeah, she makes it look Close? sexy, like ridiculously sexy. My mom never like looks sexy, sexy with in the, her esthetic with, 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 with the lab, with the lab coat and the... Uh, and then the scrubs that she has on. Does she wear prop saying. glasses? No, I don't. Huh? I don't no, know. she doesn't wear what glasses. Like, like where she takes the glasses off and goes, okay. And lets her hair down. By the way, the horny award goes to <laughs> Mr. Robert Spiewak. Uh, well, you were HBS, painting a picture. <laughs> HBS, who 
Hey, Bob, way to start that. You want to know who starts his week out Monday with a with a horny Big picture win. on Facebook? Yeah. yeah. HBS. He doesn't want to disappoint. HBS is, he is thinking about one thing at the beginning of his week, which is, man, how old is your dad <laughs> and now? And to be how, fair, how at the end of the week as well. <laughs> and all the days in between. Isn't he will he be flirting with the 7-0 at some point? He will be, right? I believe, 68 in November. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. That's a, all right. So he's far I away. Wish. Yeah. I wish I had right. that type of drive. Like you may. Oh, I don't now. Are you kidding me? It could be. My wife looks at me. She's like, "Are we going to make a baby?" I was like, uh, "We'll see what happens." <laughs> I don't know. Wow. But anyway, uh, Monday. See, uh, it's over. Whatever, yeah. whatever blues I had on uh, I Monday. Got the, are, got are the blues. <laughs> it doesn't help that uh, it, you know, and all oh, Redskins fans can relate to this. It doesn't help that I root for a football team that sucks. Yeah. Oh, that, that Giants. Just, uh, you know, tough. Yeah. I, I feel bad for people that but, have to go through that experience outside of New England this congratulations, year. Every team sucks. Mike, yes. Congratulations to the Redskins for actually making a notable effort and actually covering the spread without scoring, which is what Very happened good. yesterday. Very An amazing good. thing. What a, what a battle of Titans that was. It, anyway, was, ex- uh, it was fun to see them sliding on the field, wasn't it? But one Titan's <laughs> undefeated, right? Isn't one Titan undefeated? Well, Aren't no, the 49ers got, undefeated? They're undefeated, yes. Yeah. Five and oh. how, do you, how do you play that crappy and be undefeated? I don't know. I don't you play it. just good enough. <laughs> uh, but we, since we happen to just steer onto sports, which we tend to do this time of year, right. I have to say that the city of Washington, D.C. is getting excited. Nats it fever. Is getting, yes. It is Nats fever, World ladies Series and fever. gentlemen. First, uh, I checked the first World Series in the nation's capital in a thousand years. It's, it's 1,000 years. years. Well, it's the my, first one for the Nationals. It's the first one for the Nationals yes. in 1,000 years. Well, Mike Mike is actually, uh, he you speaks know, the truth. Ex- the last World Series was played in Washington, D.C. in the year 1,019. That's right. That's right. A bunch of people in the stands going. Yeah, that's back when they played at Griffith Park. They hadn't even yeah. built RFK Was yet. that the Senators? It was actually the Roman Senators. Roman Senators. They had turkey legs. Roman Generals. <laughs> they had turkey legs. They did. Huge ones. Yeah. Do you have any baseball music like the outfield? Yeah, um, that's really not a good baseball song. <laughs> something, something. So Get in the spirit why we, of things. Why don't we talk about it? Because it made me laugh when you talked yes. about that. You still, by the way, I love your dainty little hey, this ca- tiny with the machine. Mafia I didn't, know, I didn't, I did not order this. It you came know, with the machine. <laughs> I just uh, want to say, uh, <laughs> what, 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 favor, what favor heaven? I don't Buen know. Buenos <laughs> Buenos Buenos Come and have a cup of Italian coffee. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, don't play Santa Claus. I hate that freaking song. Do you? Now. I asked Wait, where's my where, where not? My That's not the outfield. That's John Fogarty. <laughs> oh, I thought that was that's the like outfield. That, that song was an insult to Creedence Clearwater. Does, is, is, does Boston sing the outfield? No, the outfield is not a. The outfield is the song you're thinking of is your love, right? Oh, I always thought the outfield was a baseball song. Well, no, it's a baseball band, I guess. No, it's not. This is a great song. Though. It is a good song. This is a smash hit. 80s cover bands love this oh, song. I love this song. Hey, can I ask a radio yes. question? Yeah. yeah. Um, are you friends with this guy? Uh, there's a friend of mine on Facebook who just got the program director gig uh, at uh, the drive at the at the, at the new the new oh, pop station. The Chris drive. Roth. Chris Roth. All right. Am I supposed to know him? Mm, not really. I don't think he's been around a long time. You may have crossed paths at WAVA. I think. What did he do at WAVA? I, no, I don't know him. I don't, no, I don't no, think no, I, I know. Now I, I'm insulting him. I don't know. I don't no, know. No. Well, but I mostly know so him because funny. I mostly know him because he owns a duckpin bowling alley. Really? Yeah. So you know him? You know him well? No, not well, but a Have you communicated with him? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've bowled at his alley before, and he actually was very kind when he bought Besides it. Besides bowling at his alley. Are you obsessed with his bowling alley? Have you spoken Weird. to him? Yes. Can, messaged him? Yes. Exchanged information yes. with him? Yes, and I can tell you why. Because he was right. very kind to me. He found a poster at his bowling alley that had my grandfather on it because he was a pro bowler, and he got me a copy of it. It was very nice of him. So How did he know to reach out to you? Face- We've we've been in touch because he's a radio guy. Oh, that's all he was asking. Yeah, but I mean, we're not close, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't have strangers giving me pictures of my grandfather. 
That is a friendship. You're such a <laughs> sneaky fuck. <laughs> what? I How mean, is that sometimes sneaky? no, because you just not, you're not forthcoming about anything. It's like no, we've, it's like it's like the wa- I have to waterboard you to get the I mean, most what I'm basic saying is of information. I, said I don't we're know the guy. I'm trying. Oh, you might have known him at WAVA, and then you're like, well, he sent me a gift. I mean, like, I don't know the guy. Uh, or tell me if I'm supposed to know. No, the I guy. don't think the you should. I don't think you should know him. He friended me. I think a you long have, time ago, maybe right? Yeah, probably or, or, because you both are radio people. He probably knows of you in the biz. Right. Yeah, in mm. the biz. Now, 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 and I apologize for calling you a sneaky f. Okay, thank you. Accepted. What about uh, the but, bowling alley? What about it? Like, did was he in well, radio comes from before? From a bowling he, family. He, yeah, was he in radio before he owned the bowling alley? I think they're concurrent. If okay. I had to guess, I don't know. I don't know the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> would this be? Would this? Uh, let me get. Let me get to it though. Okay. okay. All right. So this guy I see uh, gets a gig as the as a program. Probably a pretty pretty. You know, a new station comes into existence. They do a little talent search right. for a PD. Big deal. And they get this guy. It's a big, big deal. deal. Yeah. And then I notice all the old radio guys out there that are just <laughs> just licking him. I mean, just, oh, just, just like, bam, bam, yeah, old yeah. guys, young yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. old guys. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I, I would congratulate the guy, but I'm not sure, A, that I know him, and B, it seems to me that that it's kind of self-serving for a radio person to be like, and they're just coming out of the wood. I would it's say so it wouldn't be self-serving. What they're doing. I say it wouldn't be self-serving for you to do it because no. obviously Why? you're not looking to go you're not on looking air for a radio game. However, if someone say Uncle Johnny, well, if the suitcase is big enough, <laughs> I always said they that. don't make them like that anymore. Though they don't make suitcases that no. large. No, anymore, no, no. It's more which of a will carry keep on. me in Florida <laughs> till I die. Uh, so anyway, but the thing here it is. So they're coming out of the woodwork. But I'm curious because sure. it's like. I got hired at a new station uh, right after uh, JFK, and we all know how great that year was. Uh, and so, uh, but I'm but I'm looking and I'm seeing all this, and then shortly thereafter, uh, he puts a post up that where he's hurt, where his feelings are. He said, "A lot of people unfriended me because I didn't give them a a, a job right away." And I'm oh. sitting there going, "Wow!" Oh. I, and I and I and I read that post about this guy, and I said, "You know, that makes sense to me because there That's was radio." This, there was this little the frenzy. You know, nobody was yeah. sincerely, yeah, yeah. and I was so I didn't An do it. Frenzy. I, I was so tempted to write, but I don't. I worry about my memory as far sure, as whether sure. I, I met a lot of people uh, growing up in Washington D.C. in the radio business. But I was so tempted to write, even though <laughs> even though we're best friends. <laughs> I just like to tell you, I do not want in capital letters a job. Would have been funny <laughs> because it would have been. Very but I didn't funny. know yeah. because if I knew the guy and uh, you know, and then it would be. I just I, I wasn't sure what the yeah. uh, relationship was. But it's interesting to see everybody kind of foaming at the mouth. Guys that have been kicked to the curb. That uh, you know, and, not a lot uh, of stations yeah. let you talk over the music anymore. It, it's uh, is that what they're doing on this station? There's, they've got some of that going oh. on. It's. That's fun. A little bit fun. What's the morning? What's the morning show up there? I don't know. Yeah. Are they just <laughs> playing? Are they just playing records? Or, I don't know either. I think there's a. I think I, there's a guy, and I think there's a girl, and I think they. Uh, blue talk, cats. They talk over the records, and it's a. Uh, it's a very tight playlist. That's one thing. Is that you know what you'll really enjoy it for like are the, are the ninety songs? minutes, eighties. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the outfield? They would play the outfield. Oh yes. yes. Yeah, and that's oh, great. I, I, we're in and, until you hear it four times. It's oh. great. Yeah. All right. I get it. I, but it was just funny because radio people are funny. Yeah, radio. Uh, they are so, funny. They're broken. Uh, <laughs> since we're uh, yeah, and uh, you know, it's just it's it's so obvious. It's so obvious when people 150 something, some huge number of people. Uh, you know, congratulating him in that. You know, hey, how you doing? Know, okay. Well, then, people, how do you feel people. when someone loses a job and? They write, you know, best of luck. Like it's all totally that. That's different. different. It's different. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because I think yeah. that's propping you up. Sincere. I think yeah, that's. I think that's really. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, you know, you know me. I'm kind of a PM guy. Yeah. I don't like to get on a thread. Right. Threads to me are so disingenuous. And I, I never... bet you, I bet you dislike the fact that if you're on a thread, then anytime someone adds to the thread, you get a notification. You don't need that. You well, don't no, need to know just, what's going I, on. If I really feel strongly about something, I'll write somebody a message, a, right, a personal right. uh, message. So getting back to D.C. sports. So you came in today excited. Oh, yeah. Because, there you go. That's more like it. Talking about the Washington. Do you have uh, tickets to the opener, the okay. home opener in the World Series? Well, remember, it's going to be 2-3-2. Two, two. 
So two games in Houston, three games possibly in D.C., and right. then the two other games go back to Houston. And you also had, requ- you had requirements because well, you're a busy man. Well, I just said, look, I can't go on Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, for example. Um, but I said I'm willing. you're with the Bush family again. I'll be on Saturday, yes. Uh, so by the way, Bush family, is that dedication? I think so. I think yes. I would it's call that. The World I would Series. call that loyalty. Mm-hmm. I would say so, Mike. I would, I would say call so. that loyalty. Yes, you know? Welcome to my world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Welcome to, to Mike's world. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm serious. I would say no to Mike uh, for the World Series. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you yeah. Can... You would to you would to me, but yeah. that's because we have a long relationship. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't no. in the first two years. The first no. year, you wouldn't. Oh, hell it to me. no! I flew. I I slept at Midway Airport to get to your house on time one that's time. Right. I remember that. I was so freaked out about not no. making a show. Midway is no, a great you're, airport. You're, for you're sleeping. supporting this new venture that that family's doing. You know, it's going to be hopefully it's a good, good for relationship. everybody. It's a win-win. And, and, and they might right. have a color TV, don't they? They have a color TV to watch the game. Well, he's talking about going to the game. I know, but if he's with the Bushes, he could watch the game with the Bushes is what I'm saying. I don't know, I don't know if that's that. the setup that I'm looking at that day. But you could bring like one of those cans you. that has three kinds of flavors of popcorn in it. You could say, hey, let's watch the game. <laughs> you get those in Chicago. <laughs> sure. Well, that's, oh, God, what's the name of that place in the airport? It's the fantastic airport. Cheese, yeah, caramel, and, caramel, and. Well, it's just the cheese and caramel, the mix. Cheese, caramel, and dill. No, I don't know what it is. Uh, so you, a, a, a listener writes yes. a beautiful, le- a love letter, I would say. And, and I received this uh, on Saturday. Um, so we're two days off, so I could be too late. But I want to talk to you fellas first. I got, I, got, I got four ticks to the World Series, Oscar. It's for Sunday's game. Only three of us are going. Good folks. Section 405, $290. Not a bad uh, dollar for a ticket, as I've seen otherwise on stuff. I think I know enough about baseball stadiums when you have a four in the, uh, the yeah, number. Yeah, we're, we're the are, nosebleeds. nosebleeds. You could touch a 737 that's landing. It's the Those World tickets, Series. I, I checked the seating chart. Those tickets are actually at RFK. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's the World well, it's Series. World yeah. Series. It is. It is. It's World just insane. It's the World yeah, four hundred dollars. Oh, three hundred bucks. Three ninety. But you know, it three, might three ninety. Might be. A oh, non- no, I'm sorry. Two ninety. Two ninety. Might so be a ninety. Yeah, might 290. be a non-issue if they sweep. So okay. So that again, there's some factors they got to deal with. And what happens? Well, if, you could it, show a little more love to the home team with that comment, Mr. Man. I'm saying if the Nats sweep. The Nats sweep. Oh, the no Nats game aren't five. Sweep. Yeah, no, but the question is, is if they if there is a sweep and the Nats do take it in four, what happens to the people? Do they get a refund on that ticket, or are they just out of luck? So no, they'll they'll get the refund for the money. Okay, for the all right, all right. I'm just uh, by the way, Pony, isolate that when I say, oh, the Nats aren't going to sweep. Just Absolutely. isolate yeah, that and in put case that you're wrong. into the machine. Yeah, then you can play it for a year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really hurt me. Really <laughs> wound me deeply. So two ninety. I mean, to be there, you love the event. And that's not a bad and price. The gentleman reached out. I thought this was a fair price. Um, he said uh, his wife's not going. Uh, but if if I can't make it either, they'll just sell it back to the ticket group that they bought him from. So he's got four tickets. He's offering me one. What now, day is this? Sunday. Sunday night. If Sunday night happens, and that's going to be game one. That'll be two, game five. 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 Game five. Now, financially well, speaking, it's a deal. I think that anytime you I get think into, it's a win, 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 win. If you can get into the World Series for under five hundred bucks, that's a deal. I suppose. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm What's a little removed you I, from I sense trepidation in your voice. It's just because it's not, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I think that. Is uh, it the section? Well, no. I, 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 you want to be at the event. I just think it's high for up there. I'd like to know what face value on the tickets are. You know, I'd pro- like to know. Probably, if not I would say 150 if, maybe I'm getting yeah. double the price. All right, let me look up. Yeah, yeah, check I'll it out. Stuff. Because I, you know what? There's really, you know what? It is a nice ballpark. I've been high up in that ballpark. There's not many bad seats. It's the effing World Series. And it is the World Series, and it could be the one. Like, this could be the only one time I ever get to see this happen. Right. Right? I, and I, I, I know and I know I'm a I, it's the DC douche effect. I get that. But I, I if you're going to talk about oh, they'll pas- be, they'll passions. Be, they'll be bigger douches there passions than Passions in sports. Promise. And, you know, my, my first love was baseball. How do I unlock my keyboard? My keyboard, I put a new... Uh, I put a new uh, cover on my computer. <laughs> hey, oh, excuse me. Look at that. Miami Vice. <laughs> let's my, let's uh, get that from those, Mac. Those are uh, Miami Hurricane colors. The I U. All right. Big right. orange. Classic Florida. Oh, yeah, right. Orange, like, citrus. Oh, you know, I got to show it's, everybody. It's, I've got a no, I just like red or any variation of red. Oh, uh, that looked like it was uh, something you put on a Ferrari. 
I like it. It's 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 or nice. Lamborghini. Let everybody know that. Were they out of the ones that were called uh, Mercedes Yellow? <laughs> Mer- my Mercedes. <laughs> Thank you, Cappy. My Mercedes. <laughs> Cappy is Cappy coming to Las Vegas by any chance? Uh, I haven't it, heard of it. It is uh, TBD. Ah. TBD. All right. Love to see her. Yes. Uh, but on her radar. Here. All right, is that game three? I'm looking That's game, game five. Game, game five. five. Game five. I don't think there's a place. So it'll no, be the game final. Game five from, from, I'm seeing on StubHub, yeah. from $590. That's what I'm saying. If there was a comp, so, yeah. Yeah. 290 might even be face value. And I hear that at the World Series, the beer is free. No, no, no. I, I I've will, heard this. I will and, and honor my side of, of the equation where it says, I'm going to treat you like a king. Also oh, says here way, that you can use right, your so ticket the for free passes. Yeah. The parking passes that are from, let me see, I'm going to see. Right, game five, game five, game five, game five, game five. For those of you that are charging $150 plus for parking passes to uh, oh, this game, yes. I, I think there's a special place in I, hell for yeah, you. Yeah, I'd ride my bike to be there honest, before I did that. that so this will be the, just ride my bike. the final game in the city. <laughs> because uh, if it goes past game five, it goes back to Arizona. Yeah, uh, I'm um, sorry. Houston. Houston. Right. Not Arizona. Right. The Astros. So you're going to go? I corrected myself. Well, I, know, I, wanted, I wanted to talk to you both about it. Yeah. Go. Um, oh, absolutely! I, think I should go for the, I should go for the show. Go for the show. Go, go for the, walk go for the show. Go for the show. Go for the show. Go for your stuff. Come in with some yeah. kind of yeah, and, and save a little yeah. money for a suvi to wear the next day. Yeah, of course, mm. of course. Next Monday, done and done. I'm going to tell That's this what gentleman I right I now. It's a curly W absolutely. hat. Yeah. What? Rob? Yeah, they, what? They call it the curly W hat. Uh, uh, fry, okay. Uh, fried officer uh, Fried is written in. He said, uh, "Section 405, isn't that too high for you?" Because I, I don't like going too low. Oh, I remember I that. Like going too yeah, you did complain like once. Yes. I'm an asshole. I, yes. I apologize. I would, I would for go that. do it. I would. I would go. I'm running back right now. I'm running back right now. And I'll tell him that. Uh, uh, don't worry about cash. I'll bring it. There you go. Yo, when I go on and I see from five hundred ninety dollars for game five, that's uh, you're getting a deal. I, I would think, think you're getting a bargain. I would think that might even be face value. I do think do you want me to send uh, send him a message from you, Mike? This is one. Yeah, tell him go Nats. Hmm. Let's go, Nats. Let's go, Nats. And enjoy that gold-plated popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Last three words, <laughs> and we can start the show. Yes. <laughs> Last three words yes. to him. Yes. You mm-hmm. are money. <laughs> It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. I don't remember seeing any legs, but it definitely had arms because it reached out for me. Arms? I can't wait to get a look at this thing. Alice, I'm going to ask you a couple of standard questions, okay? Have you or any member of your family ever been diagnosed schizophrenic, mentally incompetent? My uncle thought he was St. Jerome. (laughs) I'd call that a big yes. Uh, Are you habitually using drugs, stimulants, alcohol? No. No, no, just asking. Are you, Alice, menstruating right now? What has that got to do with it? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Ray, it's moving. Come on. Ghostbusters. This is hot, Ray. Symmetrical book stacking, just like the Philadelphia Man's Turbulence of 1947. You're right. No human being would stack books like this. Listen. You smell something? I'm worried, Ray. It's getting crowded in there, and all my recent data points to something big on the horizon. What do you mean, the big? Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. We could be on the verge of a fourfold cross rip, a PKE surge of incredible, even dangerous proportions. We just had a visit from the Environmental Protection Agency. How's the grid holding up? It's not good. Tell them about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his office chair, here's Mike. From the seat of power in the world, I am talking about Washington, D.C., 
with all of its foibles. Originates the Mike O'Mara Show. T-M-O-S to our friends. A radio show, a podcast, a gathering every day in our living rooms, coming to your living rooms, and a celebration of what it means to be alive. This is the Mike O'Mara Show, all the way from Durwood, Maryland, to Clearwater, Kansas, Guffey Hollow, Pennsylvania. Love That's it. That's my favorite one today. I'm from Guffey Hollow, Guffey Hollow, Pennsylvania. Wham Sutter, or is it Wham Sutter? Wham Sutter, I believe. Wham Sutter, Wyoming, Colonial Beach, Virginia. I know that place. A lot of necks down there. Sure. A lot of drinking on on Sunday in that part of the world. <laughs> you going down to Colonial Beach? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I hear that. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think I stepped out a beer bottle. <laughs> I think uh, I did. <laughs> and Inns Innsbruck, Austria. The Mike O'Mara Show is on now. We're very happy to welcome Zappos back to the show. Yeah! Uh, you know, as many of you know, we go out and do our uh, Las Vegas show at the Zappos corporate headquarters, and we have a great relationship with a great company. We're very proud to be associated with Zappos. You all know that uh, we're gearing up to celebrate our 10th anniversary. Did you know that Zappos turns 20 this year? Mm. Yeah! Did you know that? I did not know that. Happy birthday, Zappos. That means 20 years of the absolute best customer service, and a selection that is unmatched. Thanks to over 1,000 trusted brand names, Zappos.com is able to help millions of customers create a long-lasting wardrobe that they love. We are excited to continue our thriving partnership with Zappos, and we celebrate it with our return to Vegas for our 10th anniversary, hosted by our friends at Zappos. Our partnership is built on listener support, so whether it's footwear, outerwear, anywhere, basically if you wear it, get it at Zappos. Yes. Please. You know what I want you to do today? I'd love you to uh, just blow up their website. Yes, please do. I would love do. you to go there and show them the power of the Mike O'Mara show by hopping on and just, you don't have to buy anything. You know, if you don't see something that's perfect for you, which I'm sure you will if you yeah. really do a deep dive. Beautiful website. You don't have to, but just go there and check them out. Uh, we ask that you support us both. You access, uh, access Zappos through our website. Just click their banner. They got a banner up there. As always, Zappos.com provides fast, free shipping, free and easy returns, 24-7 friendly customer service, and a 365-day return policy. Thanks to Zappos.com. There's never been a better time to look your best. Thank you, Zappos. See you in Vegas. This is a partnership we have uh, formed uh, by Oscar Santana and our good friends out at Zappos. Uh, you make Oscar look good, you make us look good, yes. and you really set the table for us going out to Las Vegas uh, to their home uh, when we come in there for our 10th anniversary celebration by going on there today and showing them the power that uh, this is what we do with our national advertisers, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We have a small group of people that listen to this show that have a big footprint when it comes passion. to advertisers. Lots of passion. And that's what we'd like you to do today. So if you're hearing my voice this week, and you would like to uh, do a solid, as I'm saying, you might find something you love, you might not, doesn't matter. Just go there and check them out because they are fabulous, especially in the area of shoes, footwear. Fantastic, Zappos, but they've got everything else there. Everything, just so click that banner out. on our website. It's easy as can be. We would appreciate it. Uh, Friday night, very special night for me. I, uh, I got to uh, go into the, the chair and receive my first official Ooh, hey. skincare process mm. uh, by uh, by Carla. Skin by Carla. I don't know what she's going to call Your first it. official official. She wants to call it a pony. She wants to call it Dermaglow. Can you check that out and see if you get it? And I'll if it's available, right yeah. get it. Okay. I thought we were doing Spiwax. Uh, uh, no, that's no a we're not doing Spiwax. That is uh, one of the I know options. it's going to be. Oh, okay. I, I know Dermaglow is going to be there somewhere. I, I get that Spiwax. <laughs> hold on just one second. Frankie, shut up. Can you feature oh. Frankie in the logo some, for some Dermaglow? Some people are arriving. Hold on. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what? Excuse me. Frankie what? would what be a that? good, uh, good addition to the logo for Dermaglow. <laughs> well, like, Frankie was the Frankie wasn't the logo, but the, but the Chihuahua was the uh, listen to the show or this dog dies. Yes, exactly. One of my, oh, the first one of my postcards. All -time, mm. One of yeah, my yeah, all time yeah, yeah. favorites. Uh, speaking of that, and I hate to do this on the air. No, it's I hate fine. to do love, it to you. I'd love on the to air. You, for you to ask. But I was, uh, but be because I'll forget, and I won't ask you off. Let's, air. let's just do it. Yeah, do uh, it. So, are we gonna have anything to, you know, wear or give away so, or, uh, or anything? Because that, I mean, it's it's time. There, it's, there, it's there a couple is. Weeks away. Um, that there, there is, and there was a big meeting about it um, that you weren't a part of. But uh, why not? Because, because, <laughs> because, Mike, when you like to get off the phone, you like to get off the phone. Um, so know that there will be merchandise at 
the actual event. Yes. What? <laughs> like what we did is we're sparing. Well, I, want to know, I want to know what the stuff looks like. I want to have well, say. Well, on it. We're sparing you the minutia. You're going to have final say on the graphic. Yeah, art. the graphic, of course. But we yeah. we spare you the minutia of the fact that it's going to be there. We've arranged for it to be there. You don't need there. to always spare it. You know, I mean, I I do care. I oh, do I know. Care. We don't doubt oh, that. Okay, it, we had a we had a long Thursday call about our conversation, a face to face, like here in the studio. We had, a, we, had a, we had a long meeting. Then we had another meeting on Friday that I don't think you wanted to sit in to go over what we went over with you. Again, what was went you over with Katie? Yes. Yeah. So you about about the production. It's about redundancy, Mike, and making sure everyone's yeah, on the same page. That's fine. Do you need I'm to be fine. part you of our, told the redundant me, You told movie. me yes, you yes. were going to do that. Yes. You told me we were going to have our. We had our meeting about the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you were going to have the meeting yeah. about the. And the during producer that of the show, show, there was an update. About the merchandise during what show? I mean, during that meeting on Friday the after med- the, the show, Friday meeting, yeah, yeah, the second meeting. Got it. Yeah. All right. Anyway. So I was going to call you and then say, "Hey, here are all the updates," without having a graphic ready for you. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I like to show you uh, things. Everyone said yeah, Mike's a visual cool. guy. Yeah, he doesn't well, like to cool. talk about it. He I'm excited. It. I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting really, really excited about. Right, Pony. This is the way it always works. I try to dampen the enthusiasm until we get. Within a month, and right. then uh, mm-hmm. then I get really pumped up about it. The only thing I'm not pumped up about is traveling there, because uh, no, I don't think I don't think anybody is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, also, uh, we scratched the pony escort. She was too expensive. Oh really? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a uh, that that's uh, I I you know I'm flying Spirit. Yeah, right? you're aware of that. Yeah, you got the Mike, best deal. It's a great airline because you know why? They yeah. care. I'm on the wagon. You know, I maybe uh, I'm gonna try to. Stay oh, I didn't on the know wagon. that. Look at this. Well, yeah, hey, I've been on the wagon. What happened? Remember when I had the big thing? Yeah, but that was like, Remember when I got in trouble? Like two Fridays no, no, ago. No, no, no. You know I had there. There are times when Daddy has to take a oh, break. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Daddy's yeah. taking a break. Uh-huh. That's, that's where we're different. But if I have a situation like that, that's when I really need it most. I'm going to say to Mrs. O'Mara that when we get to the airport, prior to flying uh, on that. Well, you need bird, it for your medical reasons. Uh, yeah. yeah. Medical, yeah. Are yeah, you back on the exactly. tomato martinis? <laughs> that's a, you know, just, and then not, not out of hand, just something to take uh, the, take edge. the edge. If you're on the wagon, what is the best drink to have? In a situation like that, because for the three Where months, you're I, not going to feel peer group pressure. Yeah. Yes. Like, like, are you talking about not drinking and not having? Oh, come on, Oscar, come on. Yeah. Where people aren't going to notice. For the three it. months when I had a hole in my stomach and I didn't drink, I would right. just get a seltzer water with a lime. With uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly that's, what I did. And because it passes, it passes yeah. as something I'll, I'll, I'll get an, a lime, put a lime with a uh, swizzle stick or a straw, mm. and uh, and that's what I'll be drinking. Yeah, that's what I'll uh, be drinking. And at, then when uh, somebody you know, would ask me, be like, oh, it's one of these. Uh, one of these tonics. That's what I would say. Yeah. I would never tell them that it's, it's just a tonic. It's just tonic. Like it's 18, no, 90. No, no gin. It's a oh, tonic. Oh, by the way, the alcohol uh, in Vegas never really has an impact on me, too, because of the adrenaline rush that I'm getting from my other vice, which they is. They fight. Tonic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rob's seen me drink a lot of Irish whiskey when I was gambling, and you'll, you can testify to Untouched. that. Untouched. Even with the brown liquor. I, mm. I get buzzed, but I don't. The, the, the adrenaline is so mm. coursing through my, my body. Now the only problem is if I, you can like any alcohol, you can go too far. And if I oh. go too far, I turn into Joe Pesci, and I don't <laughs> want to turn into Joe Pesci. You know? Yeah, yeah. You, you had fun. Yeah, yeah. You got a smile on your effing face, banging. A, you, you like, like, uh, you like uh, stealing from the customers. You like that, banging us up all night long, huh? Little smirk on your face. Oh, here comes this other F. Yeah, slide right in here. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there, there was one time I was in a casino and I was wearing my cowboy hat. And I kicked my boots off and yeah. I put them up on the table. I remember. And, uh, yeah. It was so ridiculous because this, uh, this like this Jewish guy that looked Italian, mm-hmm. right? He came up to me. I and remember. He said, would you mind? Would you mind taking your uh, your your feet off the table? I said, Yeah, you bet I'd mind. And then all of a sudden, you know, one thing led to another, mm. and suddenly there were security guards that were yeah, wrestling. And he had a talk show, and he had it taken yeah. away. Yeah, it was terrible. It was I horrible. remember. And then they they sent me out. They they opened the door with my head. Yeah. Which was not fun at all. I remember one time you were upset. I forget the situation, but you were really upset about a guy named Charlie M. <laughs> Charlie M? <laughs> you made me pop your eye out for Charlie M? I believe you called him a POS, Charlie M. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I had a brother. People don't realize this. Really? I had a brother. Yeah, and uh, they took him out into a cornfield and beat him. Oh, up. no. It's terrible. Uh, at least you still have your Kathy. Brother. Still have Kathy. Oh, oh man. Of course, that means I wouldn't be here either. Anyway, <laughs> a tribute to Casino. Ladies. Yes, Gentlemen, yes. Well done. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank Beautiful you. Thank play you Charlie M. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Friday night, I uh, it was planned for your the whole Your skin week. is glowing. And, you really do look uh, marvelous. I go in there. She got pissed at me. Oh, because, uh, why? Well, she did the whole thing. 
I got the steamer on me. It's, put it's, the hot it's towel. a process. It and is. Then, and then she's playing the, the little yeah, little some spa spay music, music yeah. in, the, in the back. And then uh, I don't know what made her angry. I think. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I just realized. Oh, you remember? Was. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, it's in the house, so I don't have to worry about uh, decorum. And so when she started, she started giving me the facial and. Uh, oh, <laughs> my. Mike. I'm sorry. That was probably part of it. That was just. At a, the very big, she, she's trying to show off to you what she's learned. And you're like, you know what I learned? <laughs> That's probably you're, not the perfect you're parent. You're running your own steamer. <laughs> was, oh, but no, I, I got I this. Got, I got a scrub. I got serum put on there. Oh, uh, I got uh, the the exfoliation, uh, you know, and then she gave me uh, like uh, the forearm and hand massage. Oh, reflexology, look at that! A little little reflex, hmm. and then gave me a nice little uh, scalp massage, and it was like a full hour, and uh, my skin was uh, was radiant. Did you feel relaxed? Yeah, I did. By the yeah? I shut up because she was getting mad because I was talking to her, you know, touching well, her and stuff like that. You wanted to, her, you but. probably wanted to stick. Well, well, wait, wait. He, was sexually, he was sexually harassing his oh, wife. Oh, it's a Me Too thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm trying I, to work was, here, man. But she is. She's got the uh, gift. She loves, loves it. You know how I know she loves it? She's doing it for everybody. She is absolutely into this. And you know what? More power to her. A what, passion. Is is this not the age of reinvention? Yes. Where this is a woman that for oh, close to 15 years, I think, 10 years at least, just took uh, care she, of you. She no, she <laughs> managed a court reporting. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. And, 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 and that job's reporting. not over, Oscar. If anything, it's this... getting to be more more time consuming. <laughs> she ke- she literally kept you alive. She okay. did. She's kept me alive. She did well when I was hurting. Yeah, I mean, I was in rough shape. Uh, but no, she managed this court. The thing about court reporting, it's a to- it's so totally different because it was like dealing with lawyers on the phone and dealing with court reporters and scheduling and last minute. Fridays and Thursdays were horrible for her. I right. remember when she, she lived that. So she had always said she loved she loved going into these places and getting these treatments. She's fascinated with Aww, it. And she was nice. all in. Now, you know, but even with that, now she's once on you the go inside. to school for it. And now that she, but once you go to school for it, you're not 100% sure. But then she's got an ability for it. And she's super excited. And I'm proud of her. That's why so I posted today, you know, her phone number out there. So, uh, yes, it's oh, there for everybody to see. I did not see, see. that. That's yeah, probably not. She, uh, this is, uh, yeah, she's, she's there to take uh, appointments. She's uh, doing that. And she's going to be. Uh, we could have given her a to, fake gonna... number, at least, if you would have come to us I, first. Look, mm-hmm. I I don't know. Oh. I don't know. She's, uh, There's she's direct fine. contact. Does it open up into yeah, a larger yeah, suite? I don't know. I'm just uh, <laughs> trying to be supportive. You're helping. Yeah, it's great. You're it's helping. great. Trying to be do you, supportive. Do, uh, well, yeah. If uh, anybody wants to fly her in for that type of work, is are you open for that? Like, I don't no, know I'm how not. that works. No, okay. that, that would be a no. Just local. local. Yeah. If you, no, one-way ticket to Spokane, not happening. I like <laughs> it. Hi, Mike. It's Carla. I'm at Midway Airport. You wouldn't believe what happened. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't plan on that happening at all. No effing way. Uh, right, I'm but, sending uh, you a ticket, Carla. Proud of her. <laughs> And we'll see where it goes. Uh, you know, I, Oscar, any of your entrepreneurial ideas, uh, expertise, and yes. ideas. You know, I think. Uh, you know, I'd like her to be. Uh, you know, I, I wanna. I want her to be supporting me in the uh, way I'd like to become a. Consultant. Sure. Absolutely. You know, I'm hoping an maybe offline a conversation. Sugar mama. Yes, very good. Absolutely, sugar mom. Yeah. Yeah. God why not? It. It's time. All yeah. It's, that. It's, it's daddy's turn. Yeah, it's daddy's, daddy's right. turn. Absolutely. Yes. Daddy's turn. <laughs> All right, a little show, a little golf, maybe a nicer course, maybe a couple of dinners at the Capitol Grill. You know, I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot. Darling, I don't want a lot. rub daddy's yeah. forearms. <laughs> yes, <laughs> take a break. Uh, we will come back with a movie review right here on the Michael Barron Show. On my way to bed. Oh, my cousin Fabrizio's in town from the old country for the holidays. And he don't speak in the English so well. So I told him to subscribe to the Michael Marabona Show. It's an hour of uncensored entertainment so he can learn phrases like, it's your passport to the passport. <laughs> so like Cousin Fabrizio, head over to the MichaelMarabonaShow.com, click on the bonus show banner. Now let's head back to our main man, Michael Mara. Thank you, Polly well Christine. Love that man. I really do. I still don't understand how my kid got into Kiss. 
I'll have to find out how he got into Kiss. He asked me over the weekend if he want if I wanted to go to see Kiss. If we go see Kiss concert. Mike, I got to tell you, it's probably one of the top five concerts I've, I've ever heard, been to. I've heard that from people. It is I really such have. a show. It's I've such heard a great it's show. A massive uh, spectacle. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe I'll fly you down. You can take him. I'd like All it. All right. Uh, welcome back to Bring the Michael Mera Show. Uh, <laughs> brought to you by Legacy Box. Yes. Uh, folks, isn't it time to digitize your lifetime of memories? You can do it. This is peace of mind. Uh, all you need is Legacy Box. Send in uh, your Legacy Box. You fill it with old home movies, pictures. They will do the rest. They digitize your moments onto a thumb drive, the cloud, or DVDs. It's just like magic. I know, Rob, you love yours. You were very diligent about your legacy. Well, box. here's something that you probably aren't thinking about, and they don't even have this in the copy. Holidays are coming up. Mm-hmm. You're going to be spending time with your family. How great would it be to give each member of your family oh, a thumb drive with all the old family smart, pictures on it? Brilliant, actually. It's a gift that brilliant, they would cool. flip for. Brilliant. And yep, it's absolutely. so reasonable. Mm-hmm. you got to do yep. this. It's great. You get your originals and a new digital file back in a few weeks. They keep you updated because they know how valuable these things are to you. We all use Legacy Box. The results are amazing. Legacy Box is the world's largest, most trusted digitizer of home movies and photos. Over 450,000 families have trusted Legacy Box. They have over a decade of experience, and all the work is done by hand right here in the good old USA. There has never been a better time to digitally preserve your memories. Visit LegacyBox.com today to get started. For a limited time, our listeners can get a huge exclusive discount. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to get 40% yes. off your first order. Get started preserving your past. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS and save 40% off today. Thank you, Legacy Box. That is a solid, mm. Mm. better Mm-mm. deal than Oscar's getting for the World Series. Face hey, value. Hey, Face hey, value hey, for Legacy Box. I'll take that all Box. day. Yeah. All day. Uh, I have complained. Uh, you know, It was a rainy, rainy weekend here in Florida. And Saturday, uh, when it rains uh, down here, it's pretty badass because – the great thing about the state of Florida is there's so much sunshine, there's so many activities, so many different things, so much nature, so much beach, so much sun, so much that when the sun's out, nothing is really all that concentrated. Yeah, sun's out, with buns crowds. out, right? <laughs> exactly. That's, is that still there. on the license plate? Sun's out, buns out. Florida, sun's out, buns out. <laughs> Florida state theme, baby. <laughs> Uh, but I, uh, the way it works is Sunday is kind of daddy's day. I get to uh, watch a little football, get to hang out with my pals in the morning, play a little G O L F. But on Saturday or even into Saturday night, that's my day with my son. I am all day daddy day, Sunday, Uh, Sunday, Monday, right? And it's raining. And so, uh, you know, I, I said movies, we hadn't picked one. I decided we'll go on uh, the computer, see what's playing. He sees uh, the Adams family and Ooh. immediately uh, you know, goes, Dad, 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 I want to go see that. I want to see the trailer for mm-hmm. it. Sure. And uh, look, he loved it. He enjoyed it. Uh, but I am telling you that of all the things I do with my son, and I do a ton of stuff, there's really not And I not do a, a lot, Damone. <laughs> and, that, and they say that a lot. Uh, I'm up at 530. I take him to the school bus. I love it. Pick him up at the school bus more days than I don't. I love that, too. Take him to Chuck E. Cheese. I get my gambling fix at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> He's happy there. That's just a little like twisted. That. but yes. Buy him a Lego set. Put it together mm. with him. Love it. Last night, he was getting a little weepy because it's like he didn't think his Legos were going to get finished by betting a tiny little spaceship that I was doing. I finished it while he took his bath. It's just Aww. all about cool. my kid. I love him, love him, love him. Of all the things I do, there's just one thing I don't care for. I am so effing ready for him to grow up a little bit so we can go to a real movie. <laughs> because these animated, formulaic, hire the celebrities to do the funny voices, features, I, 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 there's nothing I hate more. There's absolutely no. They are just so, I, I, I cannot. In the I, canon I of judge. the animated picture, how yeah. bad was the Adams Family? It was it was not bad comparatively. Okay, I mean, there have well that's been, something. There have been many many worse. Like I mean, boss I, baby. I have seen Toy Story four. I have. Oh, how seen, was that? Did you like that? Uh, I have seen. I don't like. That's right. Any of them? You're right. You hate at me. all. I'm sorry. You didn't mention all. that on the show. That's all. I, I don't like <laughs> them. I don't like it. Cartoon. You, you. I grew up as a kid. That I went to see Tom and Jerry 
once a year when they'd show it on a projector at my father's office mm. at the boring insurance company. Yeah. Uh, Cartoons were a special treat. Right. They weren't everywhere. You didn't have 16 feature-length animated movies putting money in celebrities' mm. pockets mm. to do the voiceover like you do now. And it's the same, 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 same. Take a joke, steal the original idea that was created by somebody else, and pound it into the ground. And for a child, it's perfect. It's new to it's them. Perfect. By the way, like every idiot parent in there, I was probably humming along to mm -hmm. this song. They did that use I the original song. I grew up watching on TV. Uh, yeah, they did, and they did a nice job with that. You know, with the with the prerequisite rap music that goes oh, along boom. in addition to it. You see, you know, the thing is, is, and Mike, we we actually we agree here without going nostalgic 100. percent The original Adams Family had a subtlety to it. It wasn't beating you over the head with the joke. That's why it's always better than the monsters. Okay, but guys, you're and the movie, the live action movie, was pretty funny. Yeah, it was okay too. Raul Julia. Right. We're yeah, right, we're right. talking about the Mike Raul, Raul Julia. and his and his relationship not with his son because that's healthy. With these animated films, which you've hated since I've 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 met you. <laughs> yes, you've hated them. All because, the trailers are the yes. same way. They're identical. I don't care what the gag is. It's cute, funny. You know, cartoons saying things that adults would say. Isolatable one-liners. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. And so here is my review of the Adams Family. I think my son enjoyed it. I was out for the entire genuinely film. asleep. And my son, because he's a dude, and it's not like Catherine and Elizabeth, Elizabeth, who would elbow me, you know, because I was committing the crime. Dad, 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 dad wake up. This kid, because we're visual creatures, yeah. we men, you know, watching the movie the whole time, and I blissfully went away. It, I woke up at the end. I saw a little bit of the <laughs> nice <laughs> message that, uh, you know, that everybody should be Inclusive. Uh, mindful of the different. Know, which was the mess. How do you know? Fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, two questions. Mm -hmm. First is, does he get to eat your food while you're passed out? <laughs> it's that would be my food. If you know anything about me mm. in the film, yeah, uh, in the movie, uh, if I have food left after the trailers, I've done something. Okay. Terribly okay. Wrong. Fair. 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 So it's I done. inhale That's my gone. food prior to uh, to that. And by the way, this time. I smuggled milk duds in and smuggled Ooh. Sour I Patch Kids. I think that's a category, yeah. isn't it? Smuggling milk I, duds? Gross. Smuggling milk duds, yeah. I did that during the facial. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. That's, that's so nasty. terrible. What is the matter I, with you? I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, <laughs> so we took milk duds. He had Sour Patch. We go in to this theater, and there are, I think, three or maybe four rows the sign on the outside, you know, it's one of those theaters where they sell tickets out in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then kiosk. and they have little little uh, copied signs that say, "Please buy tickets at concessions." And okay. I walk in, and they're like three lines of thirty, mm. like ridiculous. Ugh. And and then there was the uh, there was the kiosk where you could buy the electronic tickets. Okay, and uh, and they and, and I'm sitting there going, "What is taking people so long to get just a movie ticket?" Well, the father in front of me, I didn't realize until the movie got going. Father's buying like 25, 30 tickets. Oh. He's got a birthday party. Oh, he's got a no, birthday that's party. An expensive birthday party. Oh, really and is. these parents were, were doing a great job. Wrangling these kids, I felt for them. They were doing a fantastic job. So we get into the theater. Uh, didn't have time to get, because I was going to snack up. Right. I was going to get my nachos and get him like a drink. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and I was going to get my eat on because that's, you know, what other reason I have you for can do it uh, in being the dark. fat and mm, going to yeah. the movies. So the Milk Duds, uh, you know, as soon as the I don't even I don't eat candy like like that. So I eat the milk duds and I mean I inhale the milk duds. I sure. Mean, I'm eating chocolate and caramel like one should not eat chocolate. Like you're and eating caramel. popcorn. Just going <laughs> dong, 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 like that. And then about five seconds after the movie starts, I'm like <laughs> Yeah, the sugar rush. Uh, yeah. and, but, uh, you know, he had a fantastic time. And uh, and he and, does and not the, uh, even blink or give you any guff about no, passing no out. No crap at all. I don't think, because I know that I mean, I, I know for a fact that I was O-U-T out. You know how I know? How? Because when I opened my eyes, the movie was over. <laughs> the movie was like winding up, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm saying, like, I hope they don't have the, what do they call the thing where they roll the credits and then you show the little Extra post oh, An Easter egg. Uh, 
An the, Easter, an egg. Easter egg at the end, you know. I said, I have no Easter eggs for us. No. Come on, car, car, car. Let's go. I'll let you try. I'll let you through the automatic. Now, edition. real quick, you mentioned that he yeah. he liked the movie. Did did you end up showing him Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein as well? That on, uh, yeah, I think uh, Saturday or Sunday morning we watched Abbott and Costello meet uh, Frankenstein, and it was, uh, you know, he loved it. He, that as, as that brings kid. me such great joy because Robert loved yeah. that movie at his age. A and, real monster movie. Yeah, it was and a real a, monster with Abbott Costello and stupid. Did and, he dig uh, Frankenstein? Silly. Everyone loves uh, the Frankenstein monster when they're that yeah, age. Yeah, he I was, think. A, as a matter of fact, uh, we had a big laugh at the bus stop today, and I got to wrap up because okay, uh, yeah. I don't want to steal everybody's time here. But I, I have to say that at the, uh, at the bus today, uh, he was doing the, uh, the, oh, the walk? walk. Yes, yeah, the that's walk. great. And the other laugh that we had. <laughs> I told you that when we were out in front of the community, they had the, uh, I don't want to call it a chain gang, but they had the uh, work release guys that were with the strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, making a better uh, that life. Out, that were out in front doing some cleanup work. And a truck pulled over, and it's dark, and a t- truck pulled over in front of our neighborhood with its flashers on. And my son my son says to me, Dad, are, there, are, are those the jail people? <laughs> <laughs> But here's how he's got a six-year-old sense of humor. I start laughing about that. And he's like, what? I said, jail people. The jail people are coming. And then he starts giggling. <laughs> and I realize he's got the gift of comedy. He's yeah, got the gene, exactly. right? The jail people. The jail people yeah. are on their way. Jail people. I said, they look like Frankenstein, Michael. Zombie jail people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right before the bus so, Anyway, that's my weekend. So uh, you give it a what? Uh, oh, five stars. Five out of five. <laughs> okay. Yeah, take uh, Go see it, especially if you really, really like uh, cartoons. That. Five Tylenol yeah. PMs. <laughs> Computer-generated animation with celebrity voices. <laughs> Nothing like it. Uh, we'll take a break, and uh, we'll come back. When we come back, uh, let me see. Let's get Rob Spiewak to, uh, to talk about how he's getting screwed by his... Uh, High school reading. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, let's, it's let's happening. It's happening. And when we come back on the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. Hey, y'all. It's Angie with a new episode of Oh My Golf out now. Meet the four-year-old who captured hearts across the nation. Her advice? Work hard and get that shmoney. Exclusive World Series prediction from a real crystal ball in studio. Don't worry, Mike. We're not going to talk about your future. Oh, and good news. You can rent your Halloween costume this year. Subscribe to the Oh My Golf Show now on YouTube and Apple Podcast. <laughs> That's Angie busting my job. I believe she is in the air right now yes. on her way to Houston. To Houston. Yeah. On assignment. She gives me such a hard time. You hate it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Joy Bird. Time to create. I love it. Time to create furniture that matches uh, our uh, your own fearless style with Joy Bird's endless options to customize. The days of settling for something that isn't quite you are over. Fini, the mm. end. Mm. Dunsky. It doesn't matter if you crave muted beige or hot pink, Oscar. Ah. <laughs> Uh, if you can dream it, Joybird can up build it. It does. Yeah. Joybird offers a range of kid and pet-friendly upholstery options so that your creations can stand the test of time and the wrath of your furry friends and toddlers. Plus, free fabric swatch kits are available to let you see and touch all the fabrics. And their free personal design consultants will help you go from inspiration to creation. Yeah. <laughs> Quality handcrafted furniture in a 365-day home trial. That's a year, I can add. Skip the furniture <laughs> stores and bring the showroom home. Sit on it, sleep on it, break it in. If you don't love your Joybird, return it that easy. Create furniture that matches your own fearless style at joybird.com slash TMOS. See how Joybird can help make your dream space a reality today at joybird.com slash TMOS. Go to joybird.com slash TMOS and receive an exclusive offer for 25% off your first order by using our code TMOS. And we appreciate that uh, from Joybird. Uh, I, I have to say this. When you've been complaining, you've been making a few comments about doing your high school reunion. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, first of all, which one is it that's coming up here? This is, uh, we did not do a 25, so this is 30. 30. 30. And, 30. 30. Like, and when you think about it, that's a lot of years. Skipping 20, uh, 20 was, was, was kind of stunning for me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think I'm, did I, I made it to 40, right? I went to the 40th. Which that was the one you just went to, right? The, that's the unrecognizable anniversary. Right. Mm-hmm. That's, the, uh, that's the reunion where you're like, <laughs> hi, how you doing? When oh, you brought Carla I, or didn't bring Carla? Uh, 10. Was it 10 oh. that I brought? No, no. When you did guys, you show off? Was Carla? I doing you the podcast? Off, no, you showed off Carla at one reunion. I, I think it was that. the 30th you might have showed off. 
Thirtieth, you I think? I think yeah. so. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, thirtieth, because we've been doing this. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that's when I I was in the parking lot of the McDonald's in my hometown, and I could not tell Carla how to get home. Yeah. <laughs> Carla was driving, yeah. and I was like, "Well, where's your house?" <laughs> that's a chicken nuggets. <laughs> Ice cream cone, uh, ice cream uh, yeah, soft serve. <laughs> so uh, you know, there, there's a you're plugged in because you are what would be considered a townie. Well, yeah, I'm still local. So you're although, doing your your local. Although I will say this, and this was one of the most humbling things ever for the tenth reunion is when I was working with you and Don at WJFK. Show was highly mm-hmm. rated, and I felt pretty good about my position in life. Yeah. When they sent out the circular, then. I was on the whatever happened to list. I so don't, I don't know that list. That's what what the people don't know what happened to you after ten years after oh, high they school. Didn't know. You no, know, and so I felt. So you were you hadn't been in contact. I with hadn't any been of in your contact. No, no. Were you a popular kid in high school? I was very popular in the theater group to a point where there was some crossover to the other cliques. That's it. I was known because I was you know I was that kid that was in all the theater stuff. So That's, I was I, I was had, a no for those of you at home. No, no. Well, I mean I didn't run no. certainly didn't run with the jocks. <laughs> I was always uh, notably. <laughs> snarky and funny in class so i got attention that way so you know and your teachers loved you there were teachers that liked me there were, were there those that, that hated there you? were teachers that absolutely detested me yes mm-hmm. this is true smart ass yeah mrs kirby had no use for me miss granger loved me what was this what was the class miss kirby taught 10th <laughs> grade english mm-hmm. oh really yeah there you go. Really? and she was yeah. uh, she was she wasn't you know there's two kind english teachers mike and you know this there's the get the dust in a circle kind and there's the stay in your lane kind, and she was a definite yeah. stay in your lane kind. Ah, okay, and right. she so did not. She on. didn't care for that. She did. Did you care. hide in the back? Uh, I was a real good third. If there was like desks in, that were like four deep, I'd like to get like yeah. in the third one. Did you uh, yeah. at any point within that uh, tenth grade English class say, "Are we going to study the King's English ever?" I never said that. Oh, okay. No, I don't believe so. <laughs> So uh, you are now, uh, have you always been the organizer? Is this the no, first time no, this is the first it? time. And I think it was because I was very vocal after the 20th that I hated the music at the at the reunion. Oh, because, you made us think about it? Well, I, I did. I no. actually, I, uh, I posted on Facebook about it and talked to some of the people there because the DJ was playing like current music. And he wasn't playing music from the class of 89. Ah, and that's, that's not a big you, deal. And that is a big yeah. deal. Yeah, you're right. You're and absolutely I, right. And you I said, you know what? Uh, when they started to organize the 30th, there's like five or six of us. And I remember most of them from high school. They're all good people. And they said, would you like to come in and be a part of this? And I said, sure. Oh, they brought you from the outside in. Into the outside in. Because wow. M- Mora has always been the organizer. Yeah. Our uh, rather... I'll say our class president, Matt Richburg, lacks a little motivation, so we can't really rely on him. It's 30 years later, well, and you're slandering the man and that's not because slandering. he's moved on with his life. No, but it's really the responsibility of the class president to at least get the wheels <laughs> who, in motion. Who says? Well, who else would well, it no, be? Isn't it, no, it's the responsibility of the committee that forms... After the fact, the yeah, but he should, he should. John at least, Bernie was our class president. It hasn't been to a reunion. He yeah. should at least be in part of the committee. But anyway, so when I said, you're voted I, I'm in sorry, when but you're I, a I'm kid, not trying to give you a hard time. But I have, that. To, I feel, I have to disagree. It's not the class president's responsibility. I think it's whoever you, decides to put the reunion together. It's the committee's response. If you put your finger on the pulse of the class of '89, the Warhawks of '89, the the. War- the, the <laughs> <laughs> the vibe you would get is that Matt should be a little more involved. Okay. That's I'm just saying. Okay, that. why? Is he, he local? Does yeah, he, he's still okay, local. What does he do for a living? I think he's in real estate. He's I don't know. probably busy selling houses. Well, maybe he should take a little time and sell a little of himself <laughs> I mean, is he to the class is, of 89. <laughs> is he on the committee? No. He's distant. I don't even know if he's coming. Oh, well, no. but, but Do you understand what I'm saying, though? I do. <laughs> Do but you, you he seem to have an axe to grind with hating, this class president. Hating. Did you hate him when you were in school? No, I never hated him. You didn't there, like him. There wasn't enough to hate. Okay, but do you know it? Oh, do you God, know enough wow. about him right now? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, but you're just hearing third party. Third. <laughs> I know he married his high school sweetheart, and she's oh. a little more involved. Okay, uh, well, she, so you have, she comes to the meetings? No, not to the meetings, but she contacts the people on the committee and gets notes back and forth. So right. I don't know if he's, he's got a proxy. Yeah, he's got Something a proxy. Wrong with that? So anyway, 
when I was involved, I said, you know what? I will handle the music. I would be delighted to do so. I happen to have every number one record of the 1980s because I put together for a project in the past. So this will be a piece of cake. I'd love to do it. And, and you're said, just going to play like a. Uh, I'll an put iPad together a playlist like and it'll come off a, a laptop or an iPad. And right. I said, and What I said, year did you graduate again? 89. I'm looking for the top 10 songs of 89. See, 89 is not as great as like our, our sophomore year. But uh, well, check them wait out. Wait a second. Are you deciding what was the great songs? No. Because, I, I mean, because people will get pissed about that, too. That's a, it's a no, big no. responsibility. What, I'm gonna, what we did is we actually- So 85, you're saying something. 85 to 89 okay. is going to be where the music is going to be centralized. Right, and legit. also- I'm with you on that. I'm we no put up a that. Facebook thread, what songs do you need to hear at our high school reunion? I'll also consult that list. Make sure Wonderful. everyone gets to hear everything they and want. And you'll love it, and you'll do a great job. And will I you play Michael Jackson? Oh, See, this is this big, is a, big issue. This big is an issue. Problem. This is an issue. Big problem. I played at Julia's graduation. I played the song "I Want You Back," and I got a lot of looks from some of the people saying, "I don't know if we're going to be playing." No, this. I think people that give you a crap about that are. are and I are said, looking for something to. to and get I said, about. "This is Jackson Five. This is not a, So I might not hit up Thriller or Bad. Here we go. But here right. we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Poison. El Biv DeVoe. Oh, no, no. You've, no, no. You've got poison like every rose has its thorn. Oh, oh the band poison. Yes. Every rose has its thorn. There will be some slow dancing. Paul, right. Paul Abdul. Miss you much. Yep. Well, that's Jan- Janet Jackson. Oh, uh, straight up I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, straight up. You're right. Paul mm-hmm. Abdul. Uh, we've got uh, Wind Beneath My Wings by Bette Midler. I believe it was our class song. How Ooh. horrible is that? Oh, that <laughs> the sucks is a song. class song. <laughs> oh, no. I had two. I had a great, great senior uh, prom song. What was it? Dream On by Aerosmith. Oh, that's that so great. Is, that's perfect. That that's great. I that have Bette Midler. Uh, also, oh, hot have, off a movie with James Caan. Do you have any <laughs> Millie Vanilli? Of course. <laughs> Got it all. <laughs> and Freebird. Freebird. Well, where is the problem coming <laughs> The problem where, is, is when I volunteered to do it, they said, I'll just bring a laptop. We'll plug into the sound system there. And they said, great. And then uh, they also said, uh, da, 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 how are we going to lay it out? And I volunteered to MC because that's, you know what, I can handle it. And it would be nice. And I didn't want to see someone fumbling up there. So that's not a problem. Isn't that more like the You're, class president's job? It MC? really is. It really is. But he ain't going to be there. So what are you going to do? Give it to the theater kid. So we get a call this week and they say, hey, the weird thing, the sound system at this place, it's not that good. And it, the control for it is located in the other room than the ballroom. Do you think you know anyone with a sound system? Oh, uh, here we go. And it's like, well, I guess you could rent one. Um, I don't have any contacts, but it's an easy thing for, to rent. All we need Where's is our sound system? Getting to this. Yes. All right. And they said, well, I looked into the rental and it costs, we can buy one that looks okay for about the same money. And they sent a link from, uh, from I think, Best Buy, and it's a Bluetooth-enabled speaker <laughs> with included <laughs> microphone, wireless. And I'm like... Uh, I don't trust Bluetooth. It's not going to sound good, and those mics are crap. And then with the heaviest heart, I typed, I'll bring a sound system. Oh, no. What time is set up? And like within 30 seconds, 5 p.m. exclamation point smiley face. So it's exactly <laughs> what they wanted the whole time. DJ on the cutters. Yeah, but. Sweaty, sweaty Rob with a yeah. load in. Love That's it. Love it. And, and, after 30 years with your back fully wet from here, all that sweat. Here's the best part. It's not the load in. It's the load out. Uh, After a night of the 30 year reunion. Hey, you get the get a, get a, get a speaker. Hey, okay, I've the, the solution yeah. is right here. What's that? I have it. I was wondering if I could get volunteers to load in and load out the Perfect. Sentences. Perfect. That's what I need. No that's your, that's right. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are doing them the solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that is our yeah. show. As yeah, a matter of yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, and, and, and I'd that, like some money for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, hey, I, look, I've talked to the um, the owners of the actual equipment. They've said there has to be some sort of consideration. Well, Mike, you're going to get a beautiful and, take, and pocket it. Yeah, and po- pocket it. Yeah, for you. Look, you have my permission. Let's look at me. Okay, I know you'll do it. You have my permission it's to do you. that. You get as much as you can. When your reunion's over, you come back and tell us how much yeah. you got. All right, I will do that. And, but you, but this is my, how you write it. Good grace, you, and it's a, all in yours. In fairness, you it's an insurance fee, a Understood. non-refundable insurance. Understood. And fee. let us know how you do and it. And if you break it, you bought it. As, as always. Okay. As saying. always. And so get volunteers <laughs> to do the load in. Get a fee that that uh, you know we rent it out. Mm-hmm. Yes. And there was a small rental. 
undercut the one that they had before. The DJ oh, undercuts. Easy. Yeah, and you, know, and you know who... How happy are you right now? You're pretending to look not happy. No, no. You know you're happy. I'm pretty happy. You, you, <laughs> and I'll oh, tell you, you why. You've just been forced. And I'll tell you why. Because you know who's going to be really great at lifting that equipment? Ooh. Class President Matt Richburg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to take a break. Uh, see? That's why you bring this. It all this. worked out. We, we say, you know, you don't just vent. We solve problems. The solution. The we you yeah, yeah. You're like Mr. Wolf. <laughs> we'll take a break. Get back with you. You may not need right here on the Michael Mara Show. <laughs> Hello, Riley. Uh, okay, oh, okay, listen up. O'Reilly here, and you're there, and you want to get in touch with TMOS. You don't know how. You're out of touch, right? Lazy, uninformed, <laughs> not good people. Well, who's looking out for you? I am. I'm here at The Factor, and we can hook you up. You can always email the show at rob at mikeomerryshow.com. That's Rob, two Bs, big head, not a good guy. The Yak Shack, anytime, 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673. Leave a message. Be sexy if you want like uh you know i like voices talk slowly ladies you get my drift or p.o box 32101 washington dc 2007 mail something like a letter or a parcel or a citizenship inquiry for oscar he's not from hey. around here hey hey keep an eye on that one and be sure to keep an eye out for my new book Killing Mike O'Mara. Yeah, the plot involves $1 margaritas and a kid named Pony. He's very thin, nervous guy. The Mike O'Mara Show, always available and always looking out for you. This is Bill O'Reilly, and I hate everything. There you go, Bill. Thank you very much. Hey, Brewmate. Brewmate is the fastest growing drinkware brand in the world. Brewmate products keep your beer or wine or anything at the perfect temperature all day long. That's all. Without ice. I got the Hopsolator Trio. I love it. Got one for me. Got one for Mrs. O'Mara. And uh, the Hopsolator Trio, one of them can actually give you a facial. No, I'm kidding. Uh, the Hopsolator Trio is wonderful. It fits both 16 and 12-ounce cans with its freezable adapter, or it can convert to a 16-ounce pint glass with a splash-proof lid. Because I know when I'm getting uh, into a Giants game and I'm uh, you know drinking my brewski, it's like... <laughs> Like that. It could get I messy. It could get it's messy. Wonderful. Yeah. Guaranteed to keep your favorite beer at the perfect temperature to the last drop. Over 30 colors and finishes to choose from, plus 100% glass free. Plus, Brewmate products work with hot and cold beverages. Start the day with a steaming latte and end the day with a cold brew. Or reverse it, yes. like I do, exactly. uh, in the same perfect vessel. Start the day with a cold brew, drink beer all day. And all then day. Before you go to bed, have a hot cup of coffee. You gotta relax you. <laughs> Don't you dare settle for warm alcohol. Chill out with your favorite drinks all day long with Brewmate. Visit Brewmate.com and enter the code Mike at checkout to get 15% off your first order. It's a different code. Remember that. 15% Mike. off your first order when you go to B-R-U-M-A-T-E dot com and enter the code Mike at checkout. And cheers. News. News. Boo. Not if Mike. Yes. Hot breaking news. Uh-oh, breaking news. Oh. Just came over my phone. A guy I went to school with in high school, Glenn Catcher. He lives in Palo Alto, California. Messaged me. He says, my brother in Japan just messaged me to let me know that Matt Richburg is not doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Glenn. Come, uh, Thank isn't you, Glenn. it great to come in on a Monday and, and know you've done your job for the day? Yeah, isn't that special? Uh, well, Mike, touch a hand, have a word. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a lot of buzz about this over the weekend. Jennifer Lawrence and her fiance, Cook Maroney. Good cool name! Uh, Cook Maroney got married on Saturday at uh, some ritzy place in Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, there were a lot of celebrities there to help him celebrate. Adele, Amy Schumer, Emma Stone, Ashley Olsen, <laughs> Nicole Richie. She's got an interesting friend list. Yeah, I like that. Uh, <laughs> like the, the, what, Cameron well, Diaz was there. See, Cameron Diaz and Sienna mm-hmm. Miller were there. Only one, mm-hmm. of the, only one of the Olsen twins? Boy, I'm just that thinking. seems divisive. Well, also, there's a connection to uh, the Maryland area because the Madden brothers from Good Charlotte are married to both Nicole Richie and Cameron Diaz. Ah. Joel Madden was there yeah. with, uh, with his uh, wife, Nicole Richie. Uh, but uh, imagine that you're right. I think it's pretty cool if you got Sienna Miller and Cameron Diaz there. Yeah. Uh, and Jennifer Lawrence in a wedding. Mm. Uh, and Adele. Uh, there aren't many. <laughs> Details yet? Stop <laughs> about the actual ceremony. She's a wonderful singer. I wonder if she sang. But here are two incredibly random bits of information. Of all the 150 guests, only 150 guests. Oh, there was only one vegan. Mm. I don't know how they know that, but they know. I know who uh, it wasn't. Must be, 
Must be a mole in the caterer's office. Uh, number two, the rehearsal dinner on Friday night was a clam bake under a white tent. Kind of oh, cool. That that's like nice. Yeah. Very Rhode Rhode Island. Island. That, uh, that's she she up mm-hmm. there. My yeah. sister had a uh, 50th birthday party in Rhode Island. Oh. I had diverticulitis. <laughs> Ate a big jar of Miss Planter's peanuts. I remember oh, the got. peanuts. Yeah. He told uh, Paul, "Hey, Paul." Thank you, God. F you. You, have, you got. You got. And the elevator it. doors closed. Yeah. <laughs> he paints a picture, doesn't he? He must. Uh, it must have made an imp- impact yeah. on him. Oh, I was like, uh, if my brother ever did that to me, I'd, I'd be mortified. <laughs> Mike, I'm seeing here. Adele I does. Was. Adele <laughs> yeah. eats meat, so she okay. was not the vegan. <laughs> meat eater. No meat. Meatosaurus. <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Poor you. Oh, poor you. They don't give many interviews, but ABC has a special on them airing this Wednesday. And Megan admits that becoming a royal has been difficult. Uh, she says, quote, it's hard. I don't think anybody could understand that. In all fairness, I had no idea. But when I first met my now husband, my friends were really happy because I was so happy. But my British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. She also says, quote, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. And that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. But I don't know. I'll just take each day as it comes. Uh, You know, from everything I've seen about the royals and the modern royals, even with Elizabeth and the crown and all that, it is tough. It is. Don't get sucked in, Mike. This is the same. This is the same people that muscled the Joker into being the number one R-rated movie of all times because we all bought into the hype that they fed us. And you know why? I'm not going to watch it. But Mike, they. I'm just sharing the story. They. Gave an interview to ABC to say, oh, we're sad. I know. Well, I don't have that to do it. Wait, if you're a monster, Rob. Usually this mm-hmm. is my take. No, I, I agree with her. The idea that someone's actually talking about how terrible the paparazzi is in, yeah. in Europe oh, for the royals. It ruins the view from the palace. All right. You know what? Seriously. You know what? Uh, t- this is the way I will portray it okay. for you. All right, you know when we get an, uh, a troll on the fan page yeah. that puts a negative thread up, mm-hmm. and then you know uh, some of us are better. Yeah. Some some of us are better at dealing with it, but it always sucks. It's right. always a drag to read that type of stuff. Imagine that that troll is the newspaper and the tabloid media, and it's every day. Yeah, but every also, day there's something and that there. That troll it's killed be tough. your mother. But mm-hmm. I'll also imagine that's a big deal. That you yeah, are absolutely somehow the paparazzi. But you're in line to be the king. You're he's never going to be king. You're in line. He's not going to be king. He, I know, but he's in line for right. it. Anyway, he has a the, pretty uh, nice life, okay. I bet. The interview asked if she's okay, Meghan Markle, and she beats around the bush before admitting that she's not really okay. Meanwhile, Harry says he could see them moving to Africa someday. Nothing is imminent, but uh, it would get them away from the press. I get it. I just get that. I've watched enough about this family to know that, yeah, all the pomp and circumstances and the money and stuff, it is a job. It's a job where you are scrutinized all the time. And, uh, you know, it, I felt, be careful what you wish for. I felt more sorry for all the royals until I saw this interview where they said, feel sorry for us. All right. I get it. Uh, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino is refusing to recut Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to appease Chinese censor. Oh, no. Chinese. Which means the movie won't play there. In other Ooh. words, he gave up. Real cash money in order to uh, retain his integrity. Oh, my God. It's not exactly clear what happened, but the rumor is that Bruce Lee's daughter is still upset uh, the way Tarantino portrays her dad in the movie. Uh, So she appealed to the Chinese film board. Uh, They told him he had to do something about that, and he refused, so they don't want the movie. Uh, One source claims it was actually the violence that China didn't like. But whatever it was, Tarantino refused to give in to uh, China's demands. And I cannot believe I have not seen that movie yet. Oh, you need to see it. it. And you know what? I read that when it it, uh, comes out, he's putting... It'll uh, be on demand soon. There's going to be like 22 extra minutes in it, which is going to make it so much better because it's the kind of movie you never want to end. Mm. It's so fun. 2,000 Americans were asked to name uh, the top things they need in order to have a perfect morning. Here they are. Coffee, good breakfast, exercise, meditation, watching the news, reading the news, listening to your favorite radio show or podcast. Hey! Yes. We're there. Bingo, Yay. Bingo. Having a glass of juice or a smoothie. The Mike O'Mara Show, as good as a smoothie. Better. And uh, number nine, Shannon's going to love this. Yoga ah, is number nine nice. for a perfect room. 74% of people in the poll said having more time in the morning would be a luxury, and one in four said even just 10 extra minutes would make a huge difference. I know it would for me. Thank sure. you very much. If you have kids, you're probably like packing them up, getting them yeah. out. It's nuts. It's going to be nuts. About it. 
Then we have a good laugh when he says, oh, "Is that the truck? Does that truck have jail people in it?" <laughs> Arr, jail people. If you're trying to get healthy, this sounds like it might be a good way to do it, but it's going to be easier if you're a morning person on the same theme. A new ah. study in the UK found that working out first thing in the morning before you eat breakfast burns way more fat. So if you work out before you eat breakfast, you'll burn more fat. I've always said this. When uh, I was in the best shape of my life, I would go to CrossFit that? at 6 a.m. Yep. It and does. then it would, it would see it people would, that are really yeah, fit. That's yeah. what they do. Mm. They work out to start their day. That's mm, how they sure. do it. That's how they do it. I'll be. I'll get right on it. <laughs> and now a little something, something. Uh, Jake Arsenault or Arsenault, but it's A R S E N A U L T. Uh, my mom was Peralt, so I'm going to say Arsenault. Okay. Uh, that's the way we're going to do it. Jake Arsenault is on a roll, literally, at least when it comes to the boys' school ID photo. I don't know why I love it. I like maybe it's Maine. Jake's dad, Craig Arsenault. Uh, seems to relish his son's ID photo, and frankly, others have too, since the photo of the fourth grader dressed as a hot dog has been shared more than 24,000 times since he shared it to his Facebook page. Here's the story. My wife, the dad says this, my wife and I dared our son to wear a hot dog costume for school pictures. I just love a family that's just like this. The dad said on Facebook on Thursday, the school let him do it, and I couldn't be happier. I would be the exact same way. The boy attends Bitterfoot, Remember Biddeford, Biddeford, yeah. Maine? Yeah. Biddeford Intermediate School, which serves fourth and fifth graders in Biddeford, Maine, about 20 miles southwest of Portland. And I can say with confidence, if your kid has the comedy gene, you are halfway home, mom and dad. Fantastic. Yeah. A TMOS salute to the boy dressed in the hot dog. Here, here. <laughs> it's I can't such even... a great picture. Jake Arsenault, ladies and gentlemen. I can't even there get Robert go. to smile. <laughs> it's fantastic. He's got this little... Cat that ate the canary grin. It's uh, fantastic. So uh, we will take a break. When we come back, it's the audio vault. Way to go, Jake, from Biddeford. Hot dog. Uh, we'll be right back with uh, the audio, a brief audio vault right here on the Mike O'Marriage Show. You asked and we listened. Now you can listen on Spotify. In our never-ending effort to make it easier for you to access our content, The Mike O'Mara Show can now be streamed on Spotify. Just another platform that gives you full TMOS access. So go grab the show and listen and spread the word. The more you know, the more we grow. TMOS on Spotify. Grab it. Welcome back to The Mike O'Mara Show. Everyone is unique, which makes it tough when everything you shop for looks the same. But wait. What? Zazzle. Remember that name. At Zazzle, you can customize anything and everything, like my new personalized golf balls that I've already handed out to Mm -hmm. all my pals. They have a very famous politician on the golf ball, and they showed their teeth like small children when I handed them out. Uh, Zazzle.com, spelled Z-A-Z-Z-L-E, is the only place you need to customize anything. Just go to Zazzle.com, choose from hundreds of products, customize, and you're done. They make unique easy. Use Zazzle for wedding party and uh, planning. Uh, they have the best save-the-date cards, invitations, banners, decorations, everything. And for gift-giving, Zazzle rocks. The holidays are coming up, and you can get customized gifts for everyone on your list. It's really a great website so cool, for fun. people that want something totally unique. Uh, the Today Show, Good Morning America, most importantly, yours truly, Mike O'Mara. We all love Zazzle. You will, too. Go to Zazzle.com slash TMOS and receive... 20% off site-wide now through December 31st. That's Zazzle.com slash TMOS for 20% off site-wide. Remember, Zazzle.com slash TMOS. Rob Spiewak. Now, I know we know that the Astros are going to the World Series to meet the Nats, but here's a piece of trivia I don't know if you know or not. Uh, they won the game. The Astros did with a walk-off home run. First oh, time. what a game. First time Crazy. in playoff history that in the ninth inning, the opponent took the lead in the top of the ninth, and right. then they won it with a walk-off in the bottom of the ninth. That has never happened before. Altuve! Altuve! Baseball, baby. Baseball is at its best. I think it would have been great if the announcer, when that happened, if the announcer just went, shh, quiet. Uh, Joe (laughs) Buck, you know what? Joe (laughs) Buck is, I've given Joe Buck a lot of crap. I really have over the years about being snarky and stuff. But I think... If I went back and I thought about my quote, when it comes to calling baseball, his dad taught him well. He does, right? He just knows how to do it. There's so many guys that don't do it as well as he does, and that's just the way, and then he lets it happen. I, I love, I, I like the, na- I don't love, I, I like a lot Joe Buck's calls of uh, of the games. I think he does He's probably, job. is he the best out there now? 
I think he's the best baseball guy out there. Yeah. Right now. World okay. Series on Fox as well, so they'll have it there. Awesome. 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 Absolutely. Mike, when I first started listening to you, one of the things that I loved is you would do impressions of obscure people. And you wouldn't think of them until I you did. Them. Do this Friday. I, don't th- I don't think it broke until after the show on Friday. I but died after the show? I yes. think so, Bill. Mord, what are you doing, Mord? I don't understand what's going on here. Hey, Mord, I'm dead. William H. Macy. I did that not impression H. for a long not time, H. Not H. Not H. Just oh, Bill that's Macy. right. William H. is a guy that's went in jail now. <laughs> How old were you, Bill? 300 years old. 97 when you passed. Oh, Maud, I'm 97. All but right. uh, I, I want to play a clip of uh, Walter Findlay from Maud. This is, Mike, remember when he had a drinking problem for one episode? Maud. And he actually, it was one of those very special mods where he hit Maud because he was oh, drunk. Oh, no. Yeah. And he felt bad and he stopped drinking. But anyway, here's uh, Bill Macy battling the demon of alcoholism. Anybody care to join me in a Bloody Mary? Oh, God, no. this hour. Okay, if you want to be party poopers, I'll just have one by myself. You know, when you drink, Walter, you get so argumentative. I'm sick and tired of hearing that. I am not argumentative. When I drink, I'm a pussy cat. <laughs> one more meow, pussy cat, and I'm going to have you altered. Luckily, the alcoholism only lasted 22 minutes. And what it was fine. Find? Of all the mod clips, that's the one you uh, dug that's up? That's not on YouTube, What the right? hell are you doing? What is that? It focused on Bill Macy and his acting problems. So you just to say, I need a mod clip, and no, it was just he there was on the top hammered. of YouTube? hammered. He's like, oh, I love this one. This is great. <laughs> he's oh, hammered. There's hammered. so many funny lines. I'm on one of his funny lines. <laughs> you do the one where he's alcoholic? Come on, Rob. Showing his range, Bill. Wow. Showing his range. Wow. Uh, Mike, how about a little music to cleanse the palate? Why not? Okay. Why not, more? This is a guy that is uh, doing a duet with a piano player, and he has, I don't know if it is a, an, like a, some sort of saxophone. What is it that Kenny G plays? It's straight, but it plays like a saxophone, right? Clarinet? Yeah. I don't it's, think it's a it's, clarinet. It's between a clarinet and a saxophone. But the piano player is just great. Sorry, Michael Colbert. And, uh, but this guy is the star. You'll hear him when he comes in. <laughs> okay, this is going to be. close but what you need to know is this Mike this is the actual piece of music that made Walter Findlay want to drink <laughs> what a bloody Mary after here. <laughs> that is your magic audio vault have a great Monday everybody oh my god boy I Mon. can't believe that hey <laughs> hey uh, don't forget the uh, the audio vault is uh, is brought to you by Rob Spiewak but your yaks are brought to you by you so uh, you can give us a... Uh, that was a great save. A Confirmed. call at 888-920-MORE. 888-920-6673. We would love to hear your yaks. The Yak Shack always open 24-7. Also, send your cards and letters to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. Get our bonus show, and we look forward to seeing everybody out in Las Vegas. There, I covered it. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show is made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Uh, I could pull a better cartoon out of my ass. <laughs> hey, whoa! Wasn't that great, kids? If I thought you were my friend, I just don't think I could bear it. Be kind, people. Be kind. Can you do that for me, please? <laughs>